everyone, I am Vincent Agustin, a student of the University of the Philippines Open University with a program Associate in Arts. Welcome to the Land of the Plenty, the Municipality of Kalenasan. This video you are watching is in consonance with our mathematics project. You can find its scope in module 8 and titled Mathematics in the Arts and Humanities. For this project, I will present to you the two traditional dances of the Snug Tribe of Papayo, the Tattoo and the Talib. For a start, I will acquaint you first about the municipality of Kalanasan where my project was shot. This town is the seven municipalities comprising the province of Papayo. It is a culturally and diversifically rich town up north, nestled amidst verdant hills, mountains, and valleys. A first class municipality, mostly due to its land area of about 151,698.22 hectares. It has a road length of 619.49 kilometers, both paved and unpaved, that could rival a given provincial route. It is also dubbed as the land of the plenty because the town is in the streets in flora and fauna. In fact, it institutionalized the traditional practice known as slapa, which means the seclusion of an area or property for a minimum period of one year. Nowadays, such practice is vital in the preservation and conservation of Kalanasan's natural resources, as the local government imposed it as its own way of helping Mother Nature and the next generation to survive. It even became the blueprint of nature conservation all over the Caldera administrative region. That town is also known as the home of the Siam Festival, a festival of Thanksgiving of the Snug Tribe, which is now become the provincial festival in connection with Apayao's founding anniversary every February. Its town folks are the epitome of hardworking and fist-loving people who still practice their forebears tradition that be spoke of their very own identity, their resiliency, fighting spirit and industriousness of their leaders, coupled with their faith in dancing being, is by far the impetus of positive changes within the municipality. The town is home of the Philippine Eagles in Luzon. At present, it awaits the final approval to be declared as UNESCO by its pure and protected area. Anyway, the Tato and Talib were past becoming the official dances in the province of Papayo. Here in Kalanasan, Tato, which is also known as the courtship dance, can be performed not only during a wedding but also in entertaining and welcoming of visitors and guests. It can also be performed during the Siam Festival, which is a festival of Thanksgiving. It is also the time with the Talib, which is a war dance. Both traditional dances have the same steps. What distinguishes them from each other is the beat or rhythm of the musical accompaniment as well as the corresponding steps. Here, let me show you the basic step of the tattoo.
can observe in the video, the dance pattern and counting are dependent on the dancer. Especially during an impromptu performance like in a wedding, death anniversary, birthdays, welcoming of visitors, and other celebratory occasions. For the choreographed performance of the tattoo, its complete steps is a four count beat, with emphasis on the four beat between each beat following the same rhythm of the musical accompaniment. Meanwhile, the Talib, being a war dance, has the free count dance steps. It follows the vigorous beating of the musical accompaniment. Needless to say, the Talib is more energetic and erratic, which evoke a sense of warlike urgency. Here's the sample. are obviously centered more on the feet. The hand gestures were secondary, but it only adds a distinct step that can only be found on these two traditional dances. In a full-blown musical ensemble, it is the gong that takes center stage along with the ludak, a drum made from a hollow wood and covered with a dog's skin to produce a unique sound. And the pahing hang, which is made of bamboo or boho and beaten with the palm of the hand to produce the sound. Choreograph tattoo, here's how it sounds. performances this is how it sounds too And then, 
the turnip goes this way. Here are the bit of the actual performances of the tattoo and tally. It was shot during the first death anniversary of the Apayos founding father and Kalnasan's municipal hero, Elias K. Bolot Sr.
Dance is a geometry in motion. For the tattoo and talip, we can deduct that the mathematical concepts involved in the two traditional dances shown the codified concepts as what is deeper, stern, and keen notice between math and dance. These are the symmetry, spatial awareness, counting problems, and patterns. It has the elements of direction, level, planes, and floor or space patterns. Hence, we can say that in geometric transformation, that two can be a relation with a scale factor greater than one, with its slow beat and steps. In music, it is the augmentation which means twice as slowly. In Talib, given its past musical accompaniment and the steps involved, this is like the negation of the tattoo. In its geometric transformation, it is a relation with a scale factor less than one. In music, it is the diminution or twice as quickly. There it goes. Hope you've learned something about mathematics in the arts and humanities. Thank you very much. Mabiyag tadang amin!